before this video starts, I do want to say my album comes out June 7th, so get ready for that. It's called Angel. Um, follow me on Instagram because I will be updating you guys, reminding you when it's coming out. And I'm really excited for this one. I put a lot into it, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing something I have not done in a long time. It's going to be a favorites video. Um, this is going to be like a quarantine slash May favorites because I've been using a lot of stuff because I've been at home and just... I thought I should share some of the stuff I've been using and um, if you guys like this let me know because maybe I can do it every month um, but yeah let's get started the first category of my favorites I want to talk about is like gadgets um, and I have a couple and I'm gonna move on to like personal care and then books and music so the first thing I want to talk about is actually our sponsor for today it is the Ridge wallet it is uh, let me tell you, this has like changed my life. I had been using this bulky wallet for ever, like years upon years, and I realized we're still using wallets that are made in the 90s, and they're built for like holding a ton of receipts and gift cards and random stuff, and it honestly hasn't really helped with me being messy. So ever since I made the switch over to Ridge, it's, you can literally see the difference. Like it's so compact. I can't even believe like this has all the stuff I had in here in this little thing. Something really cool. This can actually hold 12 cards. So if you're thinking, oh, it's too small to hold all my stuff, 12 cards plus you can have cash. Um, there's two ways you can hold cash. There's a money strap and there's also the money clip. I've been using the clip. I think it's pretty sick. Um, and it, it's just, so the one I'm using is aluminum gunmetal. I just thought it was a really sleek design. Um, I'm not much of a pattern type person or like anything too flashy. So this was kind of perfect for me. But if you don't necessarily like the, just the plain gray, there's 30 colors and a ton of other, like, like I said, you can mix and match with the money clip and the strap. Um, it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So this could literally be the last wallet you ever buy. And I know this is going to be the last one because uh, Dude, I could not ask for anything more. It is so sick. Also, Father's Day is coming up, so if you want, this would be literally a perfect gift. If you are interested in buying for yourself or a gift, you can use my code NickC for 10% off. And whenever you buy one, let me know and show me what you're rocking now. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get it. And yeah, next thing, AirPod Pros. I never in my life thought I would have AirPods. I, all my, I would be the type of person, like all my friends had them. I didn't have them. Um, I was always interested because as you guys know, I make music, I love music, so uh, I always was wearing like earbuds at school. Recently, my friend was actually selling them and I finally got my hands on one. And let me just tell you these, bro, the noise cancellation on these things are insane. Like I cannot hear anything. Like we have a house fan, it's super loud. I can stand right under it, put them in, and I cannot hear anything. They're, they're just real cute. Look, look at these cuties. Look at these, look at these. All right, on to self-care. I feel like guys are always really weird about self-care. Honestly, I am all for it. Just being able to have stuff that makes me feel bad. I don't, dude. I have no shame. I use like hair masks. I use like, I have a whole skin care routine. Let me know if you want uh, me to make a video about that. But so as for skin, I've been using um, Burt's Bees face scrub. This, okay, first off, this smells so good. It smells like uh, those cinnamon crackers at Trader Joe's. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it smells really good. Um, it's been working really well. Then for moisturizer, I've been using this Bulldog skincare like it's a original moisturizer that I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, smells so good, works really well, especially because I, I need like moisturizers that are a little bit thicker because my face gets really dry really easily. So these two, mwah, chef's kiss. On to hair. I don't know if they sell them other than at Target, but if you see them, please get them. Um, if you go to Target and you get these, it'll change your life. These are they're just called raw smoothies for your hair. I don't even know. It's shampoo and conditioner um, and it's really just, it's supposed to be like natural ingredients and not like harming to your hair. I don't know. It's helped a lot. I don't know the science behind it, but it makes my hair so smooth and they smell so good. After the shower or in the shower, I'll leave this um, hair mask in. It's by Herbal Essences and it's coconut milk and aloe hydrating mask. It works one. I'm literally almost halfway done with it. It's it's been a lifesaver. It's literally, it makes my hair so smooth. Then on to books. Um, I've been reading this one book for like the longest time because I'm, I'm bad with keeping up. Like some weeks I'll go and I'll read like every single day or twice a day and then I won't read for like a week. But I've been reading this and Dan Brown, 
Another Chef's Kiss. Incredible writer. You probably already have like heard of him. Uh, Angels and Demons. I know there's a second and third. I don't know if there's a third, but I know for sure there's a second book that I'm excited to read after this. Uh, da Vinci Code. Really good book. I recommend it. This isn't really a book, but it's it's something that's never really happened to me before. So I all you know I always like writing whatever is up in here. I don't know, just random thoughts and diary entries or whatever. And I've never really finished a journal and I feel like people have the same problem. Like it's just so easy to start one and then never look back on it. But I have lit I've had this since sophomore year and I have literally filled up almost every page. I have like maybe like 10 more pages. Um, and so I'm really proud of that because this this was a this was a thick one. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been nice to have like the same one consistently and I'm excited because I just graduated so I'm gonna have another one for anything that I want to say in a book. <laughs> It'd be nice to have like a college one too. So this was like perfect timing to finish it right when I graduated. Then for music, let me just tell you, Dermot Kennedy, I didn't even know this fool existed. I don't even know how. This guy has like a ton of streams on Spotify at least. Like you probably have heard of him. I'm just late to the train. He is an incredible singer. I Okay, his song Moments Past and the corner and the, and the evening I will not forget that those songs are hands down the best songs I've heard in so long like I his voice is so incredible and his lyrics are amazing I definitely recommend listening to him and then second you guys know my one of my all-time favorite artists is Phoebe Bridgers and she's coming out with like multiple singles recently and uh, her album comes out in a couple of weeks so I'm super excited for that but her song I see you in Kyoto man so good and let me, don't even get me started on garden song that all of them are just perfect but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um definitely get ready for my album to come out it is going to be june 7th like i said and yeah thank you guys